Christy here from LC Fiber Arts. Today I want to do a review. Um, this channel is going to be mostly reviews from the fiber arts world. It may be uh, looms, it may be yarn, it might be fiber, spindles, knitting needles, crochet hooks, um, anything to do with the fiber arts. I may throw in something else in there every now and then, but it's basically going to be fiber arts. Uh, you probably know me as Lemon Crafty or Lemon Crafty Fiber Arts from Facebook. Uh, I have a channel there that I do my loom knitting video tutorials. And I also have an Instagram page under Lemon Crafty Fiber Arts. And I show where I do some of my needle knitting and crochet projects. Um, I'm primarily a loom knitter if you don't know me. I've been teaching myself needle knitting and crochet on my own for the past uh, year or so, and I've been teaching myself to spin yarn. Um, today, I want to talk about a yarn that's been around for a very long time, and Hershner's, I looked at their website, and they said this yarn had been around for 50 years, so that tells you about the um, longevity of this yarn. And, how much is uh, liked and used and I know you might be thinking well why are you reviewing this if it's 50 years old everybody knows about it well not necessarily uh, I didn't know about it till about three years ago when I first started loom knitting and started experimenting with smaller gauges of looms and decided that I want to find I wanted to find a good lower weight yarn that I could work with that had a lot of color choices and I looked it up a little while ago and um, this, specifically this two-ply, not the baby, but the two-ply Afghan yarn here from Hershner's uh, has about 50 colors or shade variations of different colors. And there was either eight or 10 variegated colors. So they have a huge, huge um, selection and I love that. And the yarn is soft. It's not super duper soft but it's nothing compared to like Red Heart. Or if you've used um, the Hershner's Worsted 8, it is nothing compared to Hershner's Worsted 8. It's much softer than Hershner's Worsted 8. Uh, absolutely, I have to say, this is probably for lower weight yarns and the, t and the uh, sport weight um, area, this is my favorite. Uh, this is always my go-to yarn because it has, runs a dollar ninety-nine a skein, and I'm going to tell you uh, in just a minute uh, the specs on it. And this uh, video, I'm going to—it's not going to be um, edited much. It's going to be a little long. Most of these videos will be a little long, but I'll be putting timestamps in the description box because what I'm going to do is most of the time when people do reviews on yarn, I see them do just, you know. Uh, a crochet review using the yarn or a needle knit or something like that it's whatever they specialize in I want to bring you all three because I know many of you out here are uh, multi-fiber artists as myself and you work with uh, needle knitting crocheting and you may even work in uh, loom knitting too as I do and as I mentioned loom knitting is my primary fiber art but I'm trying to get a little more versed in crochet and um, needle knitting too. So um, I'm going to bring you all three and I'll put the time stamp like when the crochet one starts, when the needle knit one starts. So if you're not interested in crochet but you're a needle knit then you can jump to whichever one you're interested in or you can watch all of them. That's entirely up to you. Um, but right now I'm going to show you, here's just a few colors. This is both of these are the Afghan two ply. This is the baby two ply yarn. And this is color beige. This is color light coral. Very pretty light um, corally color. And this one is mint. Now the two-ply baby yarn has less yardage than the two-ply afghan yarn. And I, for some reason I'd never noticed this until um, a few days ago when I was looking through it deciding which video I want to do first of a yarn review. The baby yarn has, I think it's nylon in it. Yes, it's 81% acrylic, not 2% nylon. Let's see if I can get that to focus. That's not going to focus for me. That's just going to be stubborn, isn't it? 
Anyway, we have 174 yards or 160 meters, which is two ounces, knit 24 stitches, four inch US size four needles, crochet, crochet renders 20 equals four inches size E4 hook, machine wash dry flat made in China. And it is a fine too. I call it sport weight, but to each their own. And this one is 100% acrylic. And it is two ounces, 56 grams, 220 yards. So you have the difference here of 220 yards and 174 yards. This one has nylon. This one, the uh, regular just two ply is just 100% acrylic. Now, as far as feel, I can't tell much difference in the way they feel. The baby yarn may be just a hint softer, which is a good thing. Um, but if you ever work, work with Hershner's Worsted 8, which I compare Hershner's Worsted 8, the softness of it about to that of Red Heart, um, this is nowhere near the roughness of Red Heart. It's a whole, whole lot softer than Red Heart yarn. Um, so you cannot compare it to that. It's, it's soft next to skin soft. It's nice to work with. Um, also, this one says size 4 needles, E4 hook the same, dry flat, and made in China. So, um, and also it's a two fine. So I'm going to show you um, one little project I was working on. I'm really bad to start on things and <laughs> do it my way and not really go by nobody's um, patterns. That's just loom knit designing. I've always done that. I've never followed anyone's pattern in loom knitting. I have in the crochet and needle knitting because I've been teaching myself, but I experimented so much with loom knitting. I just started designing on my own and I've never really followed anyone else's patterns. Um, I've just always made up my own. Well, now I take that back. I did do a loom knit hat a while back that was a reverse needle knit pattern. But I just reversed it. Um, I didn't post it because it hasn't been finished, but as far as designing, I mostly just do my own patterns. But this is something I was just working on um, crocheting with. Now this calls for a um, crochet hook at E4. I went up, a, I went up to a, I think it was a 4.25, I think I went up to. Um, I thought it was just a little tight for what I wanted it for and I went up a size. But uh, I've just been working on it. This is supposed to be a caplet when I get finished with it. I've kind of got the yoke done here and I'm working on that. And this is with a gray and pink and just the regular Hershner's two ply. And I'm going to show you a little bit on my phone here of, let's see, if I can show you some stuff I found on Hershner's. Okay, here is what Hershner's offers. I don't know if my, ph my phone's going to pick that up or not, but this is the two-ply. It's $199. This is the two-ply baby yarn. It's $118 to $199, depending on what it is, I guess. And then the Hershner's offers the two-ply uh, gradient yarn pack, which is the same as this up here, but in gradient. You get two of each color, so you get eight total. I noticed they were sold a lot out of these, that they don't have them in stock right now. And I have bought the teal in it, and I made a shawl out of that, a loom knit shawl. I do have a video for that on my Facebook page. I'll post that in the description box below. And it runs from... 999 to 1299 and then they came out last year with the two ply 120th anniversary vintage collection and they're very pretty um, vintage colors so you can go to their website look i'll leave a link to their website below if you're not familiar with hershner's and then we have um here's the information again you can see there's 347 reviews here four and a half stars is a price and i think that's all but that is some information on Hershner's website. And like I said, I'll leave the description box. And 
I don't know if I mentioned this or not. If I did, if I did, forgive me. If I didn't, um, for each one of these, I'm doing loom knit sample um, demonstration, needle knit and crochet. I will be leaving um, the timestamps below. So if you're not interested in loom knitting, but you are in the uh, sample I do with a crochet hook then you can watch it and go straight to it or you can watch the whole video that's entirely up to you so to start off with I'm going to take the baby yarn I think I'm going to use this um, beige here because I'm going to be using this for another video I mean not a video but a project I'm going to be working with this so I, mean, I can just go ahead and take it apart anyway. I must have been working with it at some point a little bit because I've wrapped it around the skein. And it does come in a skein. And you notice the baby one is smaller a little bit. It's not as long. You see a little bit of a difference in the height there. So I have what it requests of a E4 3.5 millimeter hook and we're just going to make our little slip knot here we're just going to do a few uh, stitches see how it works now I've not ever done a video with um, crochet or needle knit on camera before I've done plenty with loom knit so be uh, patient with me um, I'm having to look around my camera so this is new so we're just going to do a chain and um, do a few stitches and some uh, double crochet and see how that goes. Now I know you may think, why does she crochet like that? Remember, I'm left-handed, so I do things weird to you righties out there. But that's okay. As long as I'm ending up with the same um, results, that's that's what matters. This is also, by the way, this is a Susan Bates crochet hook. Okay, so I wrap mine around my little finger, however it's comfortable for you. And we're going to try doing a few double crochet stitches. And see how this does and then we're going to try taking it apart and see if it we'll see if it splits while we crochet and see if it gets caught when we undo it so far so good and like I mentioned I'm not gonna um, edit this too much there's really no point in it because I'm going to be doing three different demonstrations with needle knitting and crochet and loom knitting and I'm planning with needle knitting doing a demonstration on metal needles and wooden needles because sometimes some yarns do better on one than other and this way you can see um, what you think uh oh, forgot to grab my yarn up there, didn't I? Got the yarn over. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm not going to finish it. I'm just going to. Um, everything looks good there. I didn't have any splitting. Now let's take it apart, see how it does. Comes apart really good. So. Um, this yarn crochets very well and I have as you see in the project I showed you a little while ago with a Catholic that I've been working on crocheting and I really really enjoy working with this so there we have the crochet section and I'll put the timestamp if you're only interested in that one now we're going to do the needle knit and I have a set of um, Four needles here in wood. These are Knit Picks needles and Knit Picks cords, and I've already attached them to the cord. 
and I'm going to just do a long tail cast on and do a few knit stitches so we can see how it works knitting it. And I'm always going to use the appropriate gauge that it says to use on the label unless I'm working on a project and showing you a project and I've decided to change that. But I'll always tell you what it says on the label so you'll know. Another thing I want to mention I forgot. Um, I'm not affiliated in any way with Hirschner's or um, sponsored by them. These are my honest opinions and um, reviews about what I think about these yarns and how I like working with them. And um, they're very unbiased. So you can decide, let's make that a little bit longer. You can decide yourself um, what you think, but I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Okay, so let's do a long tail cast on here. And it's really strange working behind my camera needle knitting and crocheting. I've never done this before, as I mentioned. So just doing that, trying to stay in camera view. We're just going to do a few stitches. I think that's enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is 100% wood needles. And we're going to do just a few knit stitches. I am an English knitter, and I know it's weird. Most people don't hold their yarn like I do. I don't know why, but I find it more comfortable to hold it around my hand like this. I know it's strange, but it works for me. Okay, that looks good. I do tend to knit a little tight because I'm just not, you know, I'm a beginner, um, but I do see where, you see right there, I do see where this would split just a little bit needle knitting. Now that could be if I had a sharper tip needle would work better. I do have some Shiago or however you pronounce them. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, I didn't bring them in here with me, so take that in consideration that if you had uh, sharper tips, it would probably not split, but I did notice that one of them was splitting with me a little bit, and it is a two-ply, so it's, and it's not really, really, if you can see that, it's not really, really tightly, um, twisted. I mean, it's twisted tight enough, but it's not, it's not like Red Heart, you know, Red Heart's tight, really, really tight. So there is one row. Let's just do another row just to get a good look at it. And I another thing I'm going to mention about this yarn, it has excellent stitch definition. I love the stitch definition of this, this yarn. Um, it's beautiful stitch definition and beautiful colors. I think it would be good. I've never done any color work. Um, something I've wanted to try, I haven't never done. But I think it would be really nice to do color work with. I think I've done something with a stitch there I shouldn't have done. I told you I'm not a professional needle knitter. But if you are, this still gives you an idea of what to expect with this yarn. Uh oh, I lost my stitch. I dropped it, didn't I? Okay, that's good. So, yeah, I did. I messed a stitch up there. Anyway, um, it needle knits fine. Like I said, sharper tip. Might not have as much splitting. And it comes apart fine. So that's always a good plus. So we know that when needle knitting and crochet, we don't have problems with it catching. Now let's try it with, let's see how slick it is on... Some metal needles. These are also knit picks. I'll start bringing some of my other ones in here. I also have some Knitter's Pride um, I can use too. I don't have a lot of needle knitting needles, but I have a few that I've collected. I have some wooden bamboo too, straight needles. I use my circulars most of the time. 
So we're going to do another uh, long tail cast on here real quick in just a few stitches. Really weird behind the camera. see how grabby or slippery this is on oh yeah it's much much more slippery on the metal ones but not so bad that I feel like I'm gonna drop a stitch I've worked with some um, metal needles I didn't come in to bring my tail yarn up Pretty slippery though, just saying, on these particular ones. Okay, so there is one row of knit. Let's do another row. Let's just see. I can tell that it's much more grabby on the wood for sure, but that's, that's to be expected. And, you know, my inexperience, I'm not as, as good on metal either, so. But I can do the basics and show you what to expect. I, I did slip a stitch right there, you see. Okay, so looks good. I notice I'm not knitting as tight on the um, metal as I was the wood. But that's how it works on needles, on the appropriate gauge needle. It was the same gauge as the last one. It was a four millimeter, I mean a four size four needle, 3.5 millimeter. So it undid just fine. So that's great. So now this is home to me now. <laughs> this is this is comfortable right here. This right here. <laughs> okay. So this is a Cindy Wood quarter gauge 30 peg infant loom. And their looms are awesome. Can't say enough about their looms. Of course, I had never met a loom yet that I really didn't think was too awesome, except for one, and I won't say anything about it, but most of you loom nerds know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so let's just do a few stitches. We'll just do a little bit of garter here. You wrap a few, and go back around. some pearls still awkward it's always awkward and you video makers know exactly what I'm talking about when you're having to wrap your arms around your camera and work and um, at some point a picture in the excuse me in the future not picture <laughs> uh, I'm planning to get a camera boom and have it elevated so for one I'll have more room on my table and two it'll be overhead and I can move it where I want it so that's that's gonna be coming in the future but not at this point right now I do have a new microphone that I'm using today and new lighting So there's my pearl stitches. Uh, it has not split on me. And I am using a sharper tip. Normally, rule of thumb um, for projects that I work on, if I'm working on a 3 8 gauge and down, like a quarter or 3 sixteenths, I always use a hook that has a sharper tip. To me, it just grabs the yarn better 
and I tend to be one that uses those grooves. Some people don't. They, they pick it up and drop it over and there's no right or wrong way to loom knit. Um, whatever's comfortable for you, as long as you're getting the same results, I say go for whatever's comfortable for you. Um, but I always use a sharper tip for these lower weight yarns. So we'll do another row just to give you an idea. Let's see if I can pick it up and just do one one or two at a time. Easy to flip over. Like I mentioned, I love, love, love the stitch definition of this of these um, two ply yarns from Hershey. A lot of people make afghans with them, and like I said, I've made different, many different things. I've made uh, scarves, I've made shawls, I'm working on this caplet, um, I've made hats. The rice rib shawl is the one I made with it on a half gauge loom. I actually used a half gauge loom because I wanted it to be airy. I didn't want it to be a real tight stitch and I wanted it to have some flow to it. You know, I didn't want it to lay like a shawl supposed to lay. So I went up to a half gauge. And I know that kind of, you're thinking, how did that work with a small? But it really turned out good. And I'll leave the link below. So here is your three demonstrations of Hershner's two-ply afghan yarn on the loom. See the definition back there already. Of course you're not going to be able to see much back here, up here maybe a little bit. Um, on wood and metal needles. These are nitpick needles, both of them, the metal and the wood. And on a Susan Bates crochet hook. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you get um, some more clarity if you're on the fence about buying Hershner's 2-ply or trying Hershner's 2-ply. It's very easy to work with. It's soft. Um, it's a very uh, good definition yarn for projects. And it would be a good color work yarn, I think, if you were wanting to do something with color work because there's so many um, selections for colors and shades of colors. But next, I don't know for sure, I'll be doing another review soon on another yarn, and we'll be doing it the same. I'll be doing the appropriate uh, crochet hook, needle knit, my needles, and loom for it, and we'll go from there. Have a great day. Bye-bye.